Hi Taurus, welcome to your January 2018 love reading. It's Raina here. As you can see, I've already laid out the cards. I had to start over again. I think this is my third time. But uh, before I begin, I just want to let you know that I have 2018 general tarot uh, forecasts that are coming up. So check my channel, check back. Haven't done your sign yet, and I'm going to also have astrological readings for 2018 just kind of like the bigger picture and that's going to be upcoming as well and for love um, for singles specifically a Vimeo series I've already started that one but I haven't gotten to Taurus yet you can um, either follow the link I if I don't have the video up yet it won't be linked below but you can always just check on uh, on Vimeo, just uh, type in Rain and Moon Astrology, or if the link is below, you can click on that. It'll be a, an on-demand reading for singles called New Year, New Love for 2018. And private readings also linked below right now. Okay, so here are the cards, as you can see. And for the heart of the matter, in January, if I can grab it, we have the Three of Swords. So this is a card of feeling a sense of rejection by somebody. I feel that this, whatever's going on, this is not something that is going, going to happen. This is like the, the uh, per, all-pervasive theme. So that means that it's probably something that you already know about if this relates to your particular situation. Please remember this is a general reading. I would still get people saying either it doesn't resonate with them or being afraid of, of something. Don't be afraid. Don't, don't get influenced by a reading on YouTube. It's not you know, take this as entertainment, as spiritual entertainment. But sometimes there can be like major synchronicity. If that is the case, it's already happening. You can already make those connections. And this card has multiple um, interpretations. I mean, this can also mean three parties are involved. Maybe there's somebody who is a an air sign or they have a very airy, detached demeanor. So we're looking at... Gemini, Aquarius, that's us the usual suspect in my mind, and Libra. And this person may uh, be kind of, um, either they're cheating on you and you feel like you're waiting for them to make up their mind. Uh, Librans <laughs> would be especially guilty of that, I think. But... Um, just the sense of maybe being jerked around, you know. Um, sometimes this can be that you've had to cut something off very uh, cleanly. You had to break off of something and you're still kind of reeling from it. All right. Now in the past position, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. And by the way, if you hear a lot of trains, it's because it's rush hour. <laughs> And so, sorry about that. But um, I, I rarely get reverse cards anymore, and, and a lot of people freak out about re reverse cards. And, and so a lot of, I would say, a fair number of readers don't seem to even read reverse cards, but this is a good reason to read it because this card is actually positive in the reverse position. This can be like the suffering is over. If you feel like you were um, betrayed, stabbed in the back, you know, obviously that is figuratively speaking by somebody, you've gotten over it, okay? And so that Three of Swords, um, you may have gotten over the shock of something. And that's why I think that in January, you already know about this. This is not something that's going to happen because in the past position, we already know that you, you have kind of recovered from this. So you may just have um, been the one that was cheated on, and you're like perfectly detached enough to let it go. And that's what that Three of Swords is, where you're, it's like a clean break. 
with a fixed sign like Taurus, there is a tendency to kind of cling uh, to the known quantity, even if you're unhappy in a relationship because you don't like the change. You like that familiarity. But you may have just gotten to the point where you've healed enough that you're just, you're like, yeah, I don't love this person anymore after they did what they did, and you're done. And it's like, no muss, no fuss. It's one of those deals. And that's, to me, that's like the greatest possible uh, reaction to something is this feeling of like, yeah, whatever, I'm, I'm, I've moved on. That So that could definitely be what's going on. But I do get a card of still this dilemma you know, decisions, decisions, because this is a two, and this is for the present tense. So this is like the two of pentacles. Now, for some people, this might involve a job offer, and you're uh, mulling it over because it will take you far away from home. But there's that attraction in that because you know that you can get away from this mess and all of the heartbreak and all of the memories being triggered every time you go to a certain place. Um... But there could be this juggling act of two different people. Um, I'm trying to think if any of you would be the ones that were juggling two people. I don't know, because it seems to me that you're the one who got your heart broken. So, unless it's that if it was somebody that was a co-worker... And um, you're debating changing jobs. I suppose that could be a possibility too. Or perhaps um, you're the earth sign, so pentacles relates to that. Maybe that person is juggling two earth signs. Now, this is one of the reasons why I do <laughs> occasionally do singles readings. Because it seems like I'm always talking about relationships either past or present. So I just happened to notice that, that I lapsed right into this. The higher message is the Five of Wands, which is a card of um, conflict. So if you're somebody who, who has um, been getting over heart, uh, heartbreak, the spiritual message is that if you're really honest with yourself, there was a lot of fighting. There wasn't this meeting of the minds. And when I see a card like this, being of the fire element, um, it can indicate someone who has a sexual attraction, but the everything else is like totally incompatible. And it seems like this happens fairly frequently. I don't know why it's such a vicious relationship. But I, I just keep, you know, either reading about or thinking about situations where people have a physical attraction, but they don't have anything else in common. And the relationship seems to be like, you know, overtly negative. And it's like, why? But uh, perhaps it has to do with the consciousness if you're just on on that one dimension that it doesn't allow for your for your emotions to kind of have sympathy for one another there's not that kindness or something like that because you're an earth sign i could totally see a taurus person wandering into a relationship that is mostly a sensual experience and not an emotional one if you notice, we don't have any water signs. Now, of course, the death card does connect with Scorpio, so you can look at it that way, but we don't have any cups in this reading. So we have wands and we have uh, pentacles and we have swords. Wands are fiery, the fire signs. I'm wondering if there's a Leo person who is who is problematic. Maybe this is the person who did you wrong because this person is in the challenge position and then that does connect to one of the fire signs. And it's a fixed sign like you, so I could see you attracting a Leo person into your reality. With this person, you know, and looking at the strength card in reverse, this person doesn't add to your life. This person actually... Um, saps your, your strength 
And um, however this happens, who knows? Maybe it's because you are hoping secretly that this person is going to, um, I don't know, change their ways. And it seems like it never happens and all you do is get into more fights. The five of uh, wands can be power struggles, okay? And with a, if, if this person is a Leo, you guys could dig in your heels and neither one budging, both being very um, combative and wanting their own way, being very stubborn about things. The advice or what is coming in is represented by the death card. This is a card of knowing when it's finally over. The Ten of, the ten of Swords in reverse is similar to this, where it's about recovering. Um, the number 10 is the end of a cycle. And in the reverse position, it's like, uh, you know, it, it is possible that with the reversed card like that with the Ten of Swords, that it's refusing to understand that you have hit bottom with this person. And so that is something to keep in mind, that maybe you are still hanging on, and that's why the Three of Swords is in that focal point position. But the Death card is about change is inevitable, and you have to um, honor the universe, honor the timing, the divine timing of it. And you may still be kind of clinging, holding on with your fingernails to the situation and not wanting to really let go and surrender to it. And it's amazing. Once you surrender, everything starts to work in your life. When you are resisting, that's when a lot of the problems occur because... Things can't flow. You know, they say, you know, go with the flow. That's because uh, resistance is going upstream and trying to stem the tide, trying to do something that's unnatural for whatever the timing is of your life. And some of that timing you can't do a damn thing about. It's beyond your control. It's beyond your pay grade. The outcome is the emperor. I'm thinking that for some people, this is uh, some kind of decision to get a divorce. So it is possible that you've been putting up with this crap for a long time, and you've been resisting this change, and now you have like this clarity, you know um, that you need to do something because it's just wearing you down and you can't take it anymore. And so um, the emperor could be something like that. And I think that um, it's somebody who is an official, like a, like a judge who makes these decisions. Now it's interesting, the emperor has a sword himself. What does the sword represent? And I'm asking you. I'm assuming, because I haven't studied, I, you know, besides the astrological connotations. And actually, the, sword, the, the uh, emperor is connected to Aries, so that is not an air sign. That's a fire sign, like the Five of Wands. But um, I'm thinking that the sword represents truth. And um, so... It's about really coming to terms with the truth of your situation and seeing how there's a lot of disharmony and how you want to move on. So I see in this reading, Taurus, a lot of kind of housekeeping issues, a lot of uh, the loose ends that need to be tied up in some kind of situation. I don't see like this new... A situation coming in for you in January and uh, that's okay because you will have your turn uh, at some point and everything will start to get moving again but first some of you for wh whom this reading 
is resonating have to take care of business and then you can move forward so anyway I hope that some of you were able to resonate with uh, at least parts of this reading and good luck to you bye